Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact Today with me, Mark Lotsu. Pirates ruined the metric system for the Americans. So it was about 1793, and it was a time where you could buy goods in one state. So in America, you could buy a bushel of wheat. Don't ask me what a bushel is. A bushel of wheat in Virginia. And then you could sell a bushel of wheat in South Carolina. But they were different actual weights. So it's different amounts of wheat. So you could make a profit because the bushel wasn't a fixed mass in each state. It was different in every state. Ridiculous, I know. So the French were like, listen, America, you need to sort out this metric system. So a guy called Joseph Domley, who's a botanist, he took a ship with two precious items from France over to America. Those two precious items, one was a rod that was exactly one metre long, and the other was a grave, which was a circular copper cylinder that weighed exactly one kilogram. Yes, let's get them the metres and the kilograms. Awesome. But there was a massive storm, and then his, his ship got blown off course, and he ended up in the Caribbean, and then some pirates, British pirates, they were actually privateers, but the British government said, look, go and like steal and stuff from other ships, just don't do it to British ships. And they said, okay, cool, we'll do that. So they captured Dombey, and he ended up dying in jail, and then they just sold off all the stuff. They're like, whatever this is, who cares, just, just sell it off. Now, Dombey was on his way to see then Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson, so they could go to Congress to petition to have the metric system introduced. That didn't happen. So then France tried again with sending another emissary over to see a guy called Edmund Randolph. He was the then Secretary of State after Thomas Jefferson. And he was just like, nah, we, we're not using this. Get out, off you go. Because by then, they'd already started using the imperial units. Imperial units, you know, like, you know, like gallon, foot, yard, inch, furlong, just those ridiculous things. Who uses a gallon? So Americans, you can blame us the British and our pirates for you not having the metric system which is a far superior system to the imperial system that you use. There are only three countries that I know of in the world that use the imperial system. Liberia, Myanmar and yes United States of America. Everybody else is metric and in 1975 America was like actually maybe we should go metric and Congress passed a metric conversion act which was meant to introduce a metric system all across America. Did it happen? No it didn't. They, you guys still were like actually we just want to stay with the imperial unit. It's really cool. It's not really cool. Fahrenheit's probably alright. Um, it's just a bit more precise than Celsius but apart from that you don't have much more. Really. So that is Pirates Ruined the Metric System for America. Sorry about that, America. Maybe you'll get on the metric system at some point soon. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.